Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching Responsive Design Lesson 9 and in this video we're going to make a mobile menu for our website. Alright then, so this is the way our website currently looks on mobile. Remember in the last lesson we made some changes to the banner, these things here to spread them out a little bit more and uh, these pictures and the footer. So, all we really need to do is make this mobile navigation and we're going to make a drop down navigation. But before we start with any code, I just want to show you a couple of things I've already done in preparation for this tutorial. So the first thing is in Photoshop, I've just made a dead simple uh, three bar burger nav icon. Okay, um, and this is what the user is going to click to show the drop down menu on a mobile. You've probably seen things like this all the time when you view websites on mobile. If you can't see that very clearly, I'm just going to click this background so you can see these three white strips. So I've taken that background off and I've saved this as a transparent PNG. This is really zoomed in. If I go to the actual pixels, it's really small. Okay, so that's just a little icon that the user can press on a mobile. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is just this code. So we're in the index.html file of our website and you can see right here in the nav I've added this one tag and it's an A tag with a class of burger hyphen nav. Now it's called burger nav because the little icon looks like a burger, right? It's got three little lines. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. You can give it whatever class you want. And we're going to use this element right here to display that icon on the website. So it's not going to show anything up yet because we've not styled it, but it will do by the end of this tutorial. Uh, the next thing I've done in this HTML file is down here, I have added a script link to the jQuery CDN. So it's this link right here. So what I'll do is leave that link down below and you can pop that in your script uh, tag as well in this file. And below that, and that's important, it has to be below this because it has a dependency on it. I've added another script tag with a source of menu.js and that menu.js is this thing right here. I've gone ahead and created a blank JS file. I've just right click, got a new file and I've called it menu.js. You can see there's nothing in there at the minute but we're going to use this JavaScript file to make our JavaScript for the drop down menu. So that is all I've done. I've made that icon in Photoshop and I've saved it into this images folder right here. You can see it's called burger.png. Then I've made those simple changes to the HTML file, index.html, this thing right here, and these two scripts at the bottom, I've linked those up, and that is it. So what we're gonna do is jump into the website itself, and we're gonna start styling up that BurgerNav class that I popped in. So we only want it to show on mobile, so it's gonna be within this media query right here at 408 pixels, and the first thing I wanna do is just grab that class, burger-nav, and style that up a little bit. So. What we're going to say is we want this to display as block and then we're going to give it a height of 40 pixels and we've set it display block so we can give it that specific height and uh, it's got access to those block level properties. The next thing I want to do is give it a width of 100% and then we'll give it a background of the URL, and we're going to give it a background of that image, that burger nav that we just created, so that we know it's in the images folder, forward slash burger.png, and then we're going to say no repeat, because we only want this to be shown once, not hundreds of times, and then we're going to specify some um, position and properties, or position values rather, of where we want this to appear, so we're going to say 98% across the x coordinate, so it's going to appear right over here on the right, and then I'm going to say center when it comes to the vertical position, so it's going to appear centrally from top to bottom. Okay, and it's not showing up at the minute because the background is white itself and the burger is white as well. But if we give this a background color now of like a deep gray, we'll say 40404. Now you can see that burger nav right there or that burger icon right there. Okay, so that's what the user is going to click to show these links in a minute. All right. Finally, I want to say cursor, pointer. Now, you don't need to do this. I just like it so that when we hover over, you can see that we can click it, okay? Even on the desktop. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just get rid of these two little gaps right here. You see this and this. This is being caused by the wrapper. If we right click and inspect this and hover over this wrapper, you can see the little green bits on the left and right of there that is the padding of the wrapper. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So to do that, all I need to do is say header and then the wrapper div within that. 
and then I'll give it a width of 100% and a padding of zero. And that's gonna get rid of those two little gaps. All right, so next thing I wanna do is style up this UL a little bit. So I'll say header nav UL. And then what I'll do is say overflow hidden. And that's gonna come in handy when we do the drop down, so it doesn't show by default. We're gonna give it a background of 505050, so a little bit lighter than this color right here. Then what I'm gonna do is a little forward slash forward slash, so it doesn't actually apply this next property. And I'm gonna say height zero. And I don't want it to apply it for now because I wanna style this. And if I put height zero, it's gonna get rid of it. So I can't see it. I'll apply that later on. Okay, so, and also I'll, uh, I'll explain why we're doing that later as well. So. What I want to do next is give this UL a class of open as well, right? So let me explain this in a second. I'll just write it for now, header nav UL dot open, right? So when this UL class has, uh, sorry, when this UL has a class of open, I want it to apply these following styles. The height is going to be auto. And in fact, that is the only style I need to give it. So what's going to happen is by default, the height of that UL is going to be zero, so we can't see it on a mobile. But when we click this, we're going to apply a class of open to that UL so that then the height becomes auto and it will show. And then when we click it again, we'll take that class off it so the height will be zero. So it shows and unshows depending on whether it has that class or not. All right, so let's comment that out again just so we can see for now. And next, I want to style up these links right here. So the first thing I'll do is grab the li tags. So I'll copy that paste it below here and put an li on the end and I'm going to say float none to get rid of those floats the text align is going to be left instead of center like that um, I'll give them a width of 100% instead of the 20% they currently have and then I'll give them a margin of zero let's take away those margins okay now we'll just style the links themselves. So we'll copy this again and put an A on the end to style those links. And within here, I want to give them a color of white, which is FFF. Then I'll give them a padding of 10 pixels. I'll give them a border bottom of one pixel solid. And we'll say about 404040, okay? I want to display these as block like that and when the display is block it automatically takes up the full width available that's what's happening there um, then we'll give them a margin of zero just in case they have any margin associated with them that should be about right okay so that is the styling done okay so when the menu is open it's gonna look like this when the menu is closed it's gonna look like this all right so we'll leave it at that I'm gonna copy all of these styles that we've done are right here. Just control C those, and I'm gonna pop them in our CSS file over here within this media query, and I'll save it, okay? So now what I wanna do is create this JavaScript so that when someone clicks on that burger, that little icon, I want it to expand. So the first thing we need to do is put a document ready statement, so Let's do that. We'll say documents, and this is where your jQuery comes in handy, by the way. Um, document.ready, and then function like that. Okay, so when the document is ready, when it's loaded, then we're going to fire off this function. And the first thing we're going to do is go after the burger nav. So that's going to grab that element, and then I'm going to say on click. So when someone clicks that burger nav, I want you to fire the following function, which I'm specifying right here. And within that, I'm gonna say header nav ul toggle class, which is a jQuery method. And the class we're gonna to toggle is open. So what's the, uh, what that's saying is, look, whenever you click on burger nav, that little icon, I want you to either give the UL within it a class of open or take it away if it already has that class, okay? So that's all there is to it, guys. I wanna save that now and then come back over to this website. We're gonna refresh, and when we click on this, 
Now it gives this a class of open. If we inspect, you can see this UL class open. All right, so it's getting those styles of height auto, which is overriding this height of zero. But when we click it again, it takes away that class. And this time the height is zero. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, so that is the mobile menu made. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, yada, 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 and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.